Our next speaker is Brother Frederick Munderson, who is no stranger to us. He's a member of the Pan-African Movement. He, um, you know, did a lot. Um, he's a historian, writer, and historian in terms of history in the BC, which is before the Common Era. Um, he specialized more in Kemetic history, which you would know today as ancient Egypt. Um, Brother Munson also is a writer, I think I said that too. He writes a number of books on Kemet dealing with the Kalnad. I would allow you, uh, Mr. Munson, to continue giving you a deep background in the Kalnad with respect to George G.M. James' war. Over to Frederick Munson.
churches in New York has always said two things, first of all, that the people who preach racism colonize history, and that when Europe colonized the world, she colonized the world's knowledge. And then, of course, she said that African people must write their own history. Uh, so, what they did is they transformed the interpretation of the subject matter. And that is why people like Mr. Brown and myself and several others are trying to do what is called African historiographic reconstruction so that we can correct the record. George G.M. James showed that many of the Greek philosophers that get credit for much of what was prevalent knowledge at the time either did not really exist, did not become involved in this work, or it was simply attributed to them. He focused particularly on the three great ones, Aristotle, well, Socrates, Philo uh, Plato, and Aristotle. And with Aristotle especially, he tried to show that he could not have written all that he has claimed to have written or gets credit for. He was advisor, he was an advisor to Alexander the Great, the great conqueror, who took Egypt and as all conquerors do, they are they have extreme privilege to examine any existing records. Some scholars have indicated that he just went in there and started writing stuff down and that um, G.M. James has shown that the work that he gets credit for in totality was almost 3,000 years of accumulated knowledge. The thing that I was most impressed about Mr. James, who was born in Guyana, he, he taught classical languages in the middle school in the United States. I can't remember exactly where. But he was proficient in Greek and Roman, uh, and Latin. I liked how he deconstructed or reconstructed the various parts of the soul. Uh, I was thumbing through one of my works today, and um, uh, I found a couple of things in this book that I written back in 2012, where G.M. James, excuse me, let me get my bicycle here. Uh, this walking is <laughs> getting to me. So what I was referring to in regards to Professor Clark's statement that the people who preach racism colonize history and that when Europe colonized the world, colonized the world's knowledge. I talked about the distortion and expropriation. But as I wrote here, as regards this significant body of knowledge, the Ghanese George G.M. James' stolen legacy, and the version I was using was uh, San Francisco, California, Julie Richards Associate Publishers uh, of the 1954, 1976, 123, 125. He states that the Book of the Dead, which is actually the Book of Common Forth by Day, identifies nine inseparable parts of the soul. He deconstructed or reconstructed what is the total personality as the Africans of the Nile Valley had constructed thousands of years prior to the Greeks. The first is the Ka, second the Cat, the Ba, Ab, Kebet, Ku, Sahu, second Ren. The Ka, the abstract personality of the man to whom it belongs, <coughs> possessing the form and attributes of a man with power of locomotion, omnipresence, and ability to receive nourishment like a man, it is equivalent to image. The cat, 
the concrete personality, the physical body, which is mortal, the ba, the heart soul, which dwells in the ka, and sometimes alongside it, in order to supply it with air and food, it has the power of metamorphosis and changes its, will, its form at will. The ab, the heart, the animal life in man, and is rational, spiritual, and ethical. It is associated with the Ba or the heart soul. And in Egyptian judgment drama, it undergoes examination in the presence of Osiris, the great judge of the unseen world. The Kebi, number five, is the shadow. It is associated with the Ba, the heart soul, from whom, like the Ka, it receives its nourishment. It has the power of local emotion and omnipresence. The Ku, the spiritual soul, which is immortal. It is also closely associated with the bar, the heart soul, and is an ethereal being. The sahu, the spiritual body, in which the ku or the spiritual soul dwells. In it, all the mental and spiritual attributes of the natural body are united to the new powers of its own nature. <coughs> Number eight, the second, the power of the spiritual personification of the vital force in a man. Its dwelling place is in the heavens with the spiritual coos, with the spirits or the coos. And number nine, the ren, the name, or the essential attribute for the preservation of a being. The Egyptians believe that in the absence of a name, an individual ceases to exist. You know, you've, you've probably seen these movies where uh, they show you a, a, a cemetery and there is an unmarked grave. Uh, and it says unknown well you don't know who's in there there's no name so if you don't have a name you really didn't exist and it's interesting because perhaps, perhaps uh, Dr. Brother could maybe elaborate some on this this whole notion of naming is another dimension that we have to really pay serious attention to because the power to name is also the power to destroy even further, James continues, the soul has nine parts whose unity is so complete that even the ren, the name, is an essential attribute since without it, it cannot exist. The ba, or the heart soul, is connected with the ka, the kibit, and the alb. That's the abstract personality or, or shadow and animal life. On the one hand, and also with the ku and the second, the spiritual soul and spiritual personification of vital force. On the other hand, as the power of nourishment. The Sahu is a spiritual body which is used both by the Ku and the Sekum. The cat, the physical body, is essential to the soul while manifesting itself upon the physical plane. The soul has additional the following additional attributes. Omnipresence, the ability to be everywhere at the same time, metamorphosis. A profound change in form from one stage to the next in the life history of an organism. Locomotion, the actual power of moving from one place to another. Nutritive, serving to nourish, providing nourishment. Morality, in the case of the cat, the state or condition, mortality, excuse me, the state or condition of being subject to death. Immortality, unending life. Rationality, the state or condition of being rational. Spirituality, the, the quality or fact of being spiritual. Morality, conforming to the rules of right conduct. Ethereal, heavenly or celestial. Shadowy, resembling the shadow in fairness. Hence James concludes that Aristotle obtained his doctrine of the soul from the Egyptian book of the dead, directly or indirectly. But this thievery and misappropriation, omission, distortion is being seriously challenged today. And I mean today because uh, this is what we do. Myself, uh, Dr. Browder, and even though we're dealing with uh, the enslavement experience, the system by providing all this factual information has dealt with the distortion of our history, the misappropriation of our history, and why this institution and this gathering is so important because we must struggle, struggle, struggle. And as the Africans would have said, 